Hello, welcome back to Wendy's Coloring, and today is my May coloring plans. <laughs> of which, yeah, that's that reflection is driving me mad. Gotta move it. Um, yeah, as you can see, I have way too many books. Let's get them out of the way. This, if you watch my finished colorings for April, you will know that I started on a little page in here. I'd hardly done anything. But I have started on this little bit, so I think I'd at least like to get this bookmark done. Would be nice to get them all done, but at least get this one done so that I've made a bit of a start in this big book of colouring bookmarks by Ellie Marks from Etsy. So it's available on Etsy. It's a PDF, I just printed it. I've printed it on my uh, Nina cardstock because I quite like it. It's smooth, takes markers nicely lovely on pencils so yeah i quite like having them on that um then i have a lot of books i'm not going to get to all of these but i'm giving myself lots of choices so this was new in last month to me magical woodland coloring book by kate pellerin um i've picked as you can see a few pages but i like a lot of this book so i might just go with the flow when it comes to it but i quite like this little snoozy cat in a kind of um, it looks like a tree house doesn't it you've got bits of the tree inside which I quite like the idea of you've got like little cute mice on this page obviously the little fish that's left kicked his slippers off I don't know it's quite cute and homely isn't it um, I don't know about where you are in the world but here in the north of the UK the weather's not been very good it's not been very nice at all so yeah a cozy scene does appeal then i've picked this page because it does make me laugh a little bit this little poor little boy that looks terrified at this giant i don't even know what it is <laughs> this strange creature that's looking through the gap in the tree canopy um, and you've got these strange kind of creatures down here that again look quite cute I thought it's a nice green page I do like a green page and you've got a couple of really nice cute characters so it does appeal then is that the next one yeah this obviously this little kind of hut in the woods I like a lot again there's no characters really on this one which is the only one that puts me off it a little bit but I do like doing little houses cute little houses do appeal and then finally I've picked this one out of this nice cute Shin Elf, Elfie girl at her, um, well I think it's a tree again isn't it, like a library and a tree and she's got her cat, dog, wolf, I don't know, I don't know what I think it is, some point I will have to decide, um, she's got a book, The Life of Trees, but yeah, I think something out of this cute little magical woodland colouring book does appeal and it's not a huge book so I'm hoping I should get that done pretty easily trying to move the pile next to me to make room for this one now the other one that was new in uh, last month was this one it's not a new book but it's new to me the princess colouring book by it's in the front cover somewhere hold on uh, Anne Kronheimer so I've picked a couple out of here. I was thinking about this one. I do like this one, but I'm not up for doing all these bedclothes. This I want something a little bit simpler. So I'm thinking this is quite cute. It's not too complicated. Nice start. I can see what the this paper feels like with my pencils. Maybe try out a little bit of um, something a bit glittery here and there just to see what this paper will take. Thought that might be quite a nice start. This, I think, is a beautiful image that's kind of like she's being blown by the wind and all her shawls are going everywhere. I think that's quite pretty. Although I do like this one. I, and I quite like doing horse shapes, but there's a lot of blank space around it and I'm not sure I'm up for that this month. But that will be coming back, I'm pretty sure. This I thought was really lovely and I was thinking if I did this one... I could do all these trees like this is pink blossom rather than trees as she's um, in all her beautiful garments. I think that's a really lovely page as well. <clears throat> and then I've also picked this one just because these little dragons are so cute. Now this one, he's got a right grump face look. <laughs> They're fighting over this crown. 
I, yeah, just thought this was really cute. So I quite like that as well. But yeah, there's some cracking little pages in the Princess Coloring Book. I think it's a Buster Books book. Yeah, Buster Books, but available on Amazon if you're interested. Then my Jade Summer Kawaii Town Coloring Book. I'm thinking I might print this onto better paper, but there is a few pages that I'm thinking I might have a look at. So I quite like this gecko bed and breakfast, although I think I'm going to need to look geckos up for colour schemes um, to see what colours I should be using. My brain's thinking green, but I'm thinking maybe they're not all green. Maybe I need to have a look. I'm sure someone will tell me, but I thought this was quite cute. There's one sleeping. The rest are all doing things. I think that's quite a nice page. This one quite interested me, the fabric store. Obviously loads of different fabrics to do lots of different colours and patterns. So I thought that could be quite interesting. But I'm thinking this might be a marker book for me. So some of this is quite detailed, which is, the, I'm thinking, you know, bleeding might be a bit of a problem with these fabrics. So I might have to go back to pencil and maybe just put a base of colour on with the marker. But I'm thinking that could be a bit of fun. I've also, excuse while we flip, um, picked the arcade. Because again, it's looking colourful, isn't it? I'm thinking maybe some uh, fluorescence, neon effects. Could be a bit of a challenge, I'm thinking. And I quite like the idea of doing all these little games and different bits and pieces out of the arcade. That does appeal. I've also picked the art store because, you know, <laughs> why wouldn't I? Um, you've got a water machine, some paints, pencils, yay, bit of crayons, all sorts going on. Thought that was quite cute as well. And then finally, I quite like this cheese house with the little hamster wheel and all these bits and pieces. I think that's also quite cute. So as a Jade Summer, Kawaii Town colouring book. And my Coco Wyo, which I'm, I'm definitely thinking I will reprint, but I do like the images in this a lot. <laughs> I could have just gone through every other page. Yeah, I like that one, I like that one, I like that one. I've made myself stop, but how many have I got? One, two, three, four, <laughs> four. I could have had more though. I definitely like these different squares. I think the idea is really nice. It's something a bit different. Not tried that. This is a lovely image. I don't know why these images appeal to me so much, but women with flowers and butterflies in their hair. It's like, yeah, I'm just drawn to it. I want to do it. Uh, so this is definitely an image I'm interested in. This is a beautiful image. I'm no lover of all these jar things because glass is a bit of a pain to try and do it properly, isn't it? But I do love these. And I think these are peonies, aren't they? That she's She's got the larger ones really pretty it's quite a nice pose um yeah that one does appeal as well though it feels like there's a lot more work in it and I, again i like these kind of clips of things i think that's quite cute as well you've got like a little close-up of her flowers on her hand a strip of flowers with some of these little creatures and then obviously a close-up of her i think that's quite nice as well Again, all feels very me, this book. I like it a lot. Then, a couple of uncoloured books to me. I don't know how I've got to this point, because I've had this book quite a while now. Uh, Botanicum. I don't know what makes this a special edition one. It has like a goldy bronze border, but I've still not coloured in it. I just don't know why. So I've kind of pulled out the more kind of spring images in an attempt to feel spring-like, unlike the weather here. Again, another kind of peony shape with these little chunky bees. I think they're quite cute. That did appeal. I do like this as well, but there's a lot going on there, isn't there? And I'm not feeling that brave. I quite like this image with the little bird round its nest with the flowers round it. Although I don't know why, but I don't like colouring poppies. It does put me off that there's poppies in it. I quite like this little hedgehog eating the strawberries as well. But I was thinking of the bird when I put this in. And then I also, obviously, like a bit of um, a cute foresty house pumpkin in this case. I quite like that. 
well is that a bit too or to me maybe that's a bit too or to me um but i quite like these little foxes as well with the nice scene behind them and pretty flowers round the edge and these kind of give me shades of bluebells which the bluebells are all out near me at the moment as me and my dog go for a walk we go past quite a lot of them um although there's mushrooms so it can't be spring can it uh, i don't know anyway something out of botanicum i think has most definitely needs to happen oh, i quite like that as well probably more towards the front of the book i'm going to kind of stick with more kind of spring early summer things these are quite nice with daffodils as well aren't they maybe i should take those out from the back i'm gonna say that those are too autumnal and I want to do something spring. Maybe we'll keep her in. Not peacocks. No, I don't like peacocks. Not to colour those feathers. <laughs> There's a lot going on. I quite like colouring these little bleeding hearts. What's it got? It's got another little nest. Mm, are they hyacinths? I don't know. There's a lot of background there, isn't there? Decisions. I should have thought about this before I switched the camera on. Sorry. That's quite cute. And a tulip. Yeah, let's let's put her in. We'll keep her in. We'll lose the foxes and the pumpkin. <laughs> I probably won't even do it now. Having just spent ages thinking about it. Another uncoloured is oh, what's this called? Journey to Dreamland by Yoshimi. I'm gonna say it wrong. So cute. Gee, I don't know. <laughs> this is a beautiful book. Again, I've had this quite a while. I know I haven't coloured in it because it's quite detailed. Um, and that does put me off a little bit. And okay, love so detailed. But when I start seeing this, I think, oh no, <laughs> don't make me do it. Uh, but I do love the little characters. And you've got nice lighting effects that you could really go to town with. It's the front cover image, isn't it? But the front cover image is quite flat looking. So you could do something a bit more exciting with it. And these are very cute, aren't they? It's just all oh, these little tiny leaves do put me off. But I kind of am feeling like I need to work in this book or I might need to let it go. One of the two. And I think it's a shame to let it go because it's a very pretty book. I've picked this one, but it has a lot of space. But I'm half thinking I might be brave and try my distress inks or something for this background. So that would be quite quick, wouldn't it? And then the actual colouring is just this uh, section through the middle. Got another horse, but I do like colouring horse. So, yeah, I'm thinking there's a lot of space, but... I'm going to try and make my life a bit easier. Maybe gel crayons, distress ink, something along those lines. This paper's not super thick. It, you can, as you can see, you can see through to this kind of leaf work that's on the other page. So I definitely don't think we can get away with watercolour or something like that. But maybe distress or gel crayons I might be able to get away with. Possibly. We shall see. Is that the one out of that page? Yes. This page I picked, even though I know I probably won't get to it this month. I've got a very busy month. Uh, exam marking. Um, very busy. So, I don't know why I picked it, really. I, I, well, I do, because I, I, this, this curtains and the fabric does kind of appeal, but there is a lot of little details. And obviously it's a double page. But I'm thinking maybe I'll be kind to myself and say, you know, maybe I could start this page this month. Maybe not aim to finish it this month, but maybe if I get a bit of the fabric done, it'll feel like I've made a start in this book. Not sure, but I think this is a lovely page and it could be so beautiful to do. And you've got cute little um, burr at the bottom dressed up lot of hair but yeah it does appeal and then this one also I do find a very well it's the same scene isn't it really it's the same bed so you've got a bit of the pattern is the patterns the same in the beds mm, similar isn't it but not quite the same because this has this kind of star trim 
and then it has a different trim on this bed so although it looks like the same character it doesn't quite look like the same bedding so at least I don't have to do those the same but there's a bit less to do in that it's a single page they're a little bit smaller it's a little bit more detailed I'm wondering if I could get away with watercolour pencils I'm not thinking it'd be a good idea so somewhere I can test it in this book that's card so that's no good to test on oh these I could test on couldn't I the information pages that I can't read anyway yeah maybe I might test it on there just to see how bad the watercolour pencil goes to the paper I'm thinking stronger colours might come through because it's it's nice paper but it's not as thick as some of the Japanese paper we get but it's a cute book. I've forgotten what it's called again already. Journey to Dreamland by <laughs> uh -oh, Yoshimi Seguchi or something like that. Then this was in my Colin Pans last month and has been in my Colin Pans a number of times. Queens of the Poland by Christina Novak. I have got the same page as I always want to do and I never get to. It's quite a serious looking portrait, isn't it? And I kind of feel I need to do it justice. Um, but this has beautiful paper, really lovely paper, and it is kind of single-sided. You lose this information, but if I'm really honest, this information's not meaning much to me anyway. So, But this with blossoms on, I just think it's really quite elegant. I'm not so sure about this great big fat caterpillar thing down here, though. <laughs> but I'm sure that does have meaning of some relevance, but it is a beautiful image, and this is a beautiful uncoloured book. That I need to start in. One I have started in is this one, Fairy Bliss by Lenka Fanalenko. I'm enjoying this book at the moment, so I have picked a few more out of it. I don't love how dark the grayscale is, but I'm going to try and work with it. This one I like with the, well, it kind of looks a bit waspy, but I'm guessing is a bee on her kind of staff thing. But you've got nice flowers, go repeat through her hair. Oh, she's got quite long hair. It's quite a simple dress on it, but still a very nice image. I think I prefer this one. I kind of quite like doing berries and things like that, so this does appeal. And again, got lovely wings and things to work on, which I enjoy. This one consistently comes back to me, and I want to colour it. Although when I look at it, I kind of think of it as in autumn colours. I think this has got mushrooms in. I mean, I could do all of these leaves green and rich. But I kind of think it's oranges and browns. Just because the mushrooms are in there. But we could go kind of blues, oranges, reds in the mushrooms, couldn't we? So it does appeal. It interests me, this image. But there's quite a lot of work in it. And then finally, this one where she's on the magnolia blossoms I like as well it's a bit more simple than obviously this one that I like but it's a very pretty book I'd like to do a bit more in it paper's nice because it's good cardstock in this image um, and obviously I got one of these done even though I've lost it yeah I've got that one done last month so it'd be nice to do another one this, unbelievably, is another uncoloured book. I've not had this one that long. This was one that I didn't get originally. Um, so it's Microscope Under the Land, isn't it, this one? And I've kind of picked ones that are more spring-like of this book by Rita Berman. I do like this cover, though, where you've got it, this fold-out that folds through the hole and things like that just think, it's just a little bit of extra thought to it isn't it it's nice so I was thinking I quite like this butterfly I've got quite a lot of quite complicated colouring in that pile and I thought this is quite a nice simple image that I could play about with a little bit more and maybe not do some colouring that's quite as intense just something quite relaxing and simple to do I thought that might be quite nice and quite good for me Equally, quite like this little squirrel with a little mushroomy house. Always my favourite kind of image. thought that's quite cute. I've not really done any bee pages, I don't think. And OK, does quite a few bee pages. But I was half thinking I might try something like this. Just need to think through what I'm doing with the honeycombs and how I want that to look. 
but yeah not done any big bee images but i quite like the insect on the other side as well i'm guessing that's supposed to be a bee that's got lots of patterns in it instead but this one is appealing <laughs> these snail houses i thought were very cute they're kind of like you know a traditional kind of old-fashioned wooden gypsy caravan they kind of reminded me of the paintings that you get on those kind of things but on these little snaily shells so i was half thinking if i did this page i'd do them in those kind of bright traditional hand-painted style i thought that would be quite nice as a contrast to the, the kind of not so interesting snail color <laughs> i thought that might be quite nice it just reminded me of those and then i also quite like this I like a bit of insect and I definitely like some large flowers. Double, not so sure about, but there's quite a lot of empty space in this, isn't there? We can just play about with a bit of colour, so it doesn't have to be too serious a page. But yeah, I think I'd like to start in this one by Rita Berman that, I've, like I say, I've had a bit too long and I've not used. Then, <laughs> obviously RJ Hansen, Around the World, very few of my current plans don't involve an RJ Hampson somewhere. I've done one out of this, but I'd like to do another. I do quite like this one, the Alpine Way. Um, brisk hike over the Alps. I quite like his little outfit. He's got his pipe. We've got a little traditional cow with its bell on. I just thought it's a nice little scene, isn't it? Happy little springy type of scene. Uh, I did water in the last page of this because I did the Venice one so I'm kind of avoiding ones that have got big water scenes in the background this time because that took a bit of time although having said that there is some water behind this one but I don't feel I need to do too much because it's very much heavy heavy foreground in this particular image I did pick this last time it still is appealing to me it's just lots of nice little details little starfish on the ground he's not got his shoes on you can see his little flippery feet for a change because that we don't normally see that um but yeah there's a few different bits and pieces in there that i think is quite cute but i also like this one as well i think it's the the last image in this set before it goes to the second i can't turn the page it doesn't help with me having my magnet on it yes yeah, the last one before the the second step start but yeah this is my the picture of me last week when i got home from parents evening oh it's so nice to be home put your feet up <laughs> what time is it how long did that take me just seemed a bit familiar although i don't smoke a pipe obviously <laughs> but yeah that's quite cute and even mr snail's asleep on the top there i thought that was quite a nice page as well so yeah another one hopefully from Mr. Hampson in Around the World. Oh, and I can't pick the next one up because it's trapping itself underneath my cutting mat that's on the desk. Um, last one. I did one again last month in Gabby Wolf Mini Mania 3. Uh, quite fancy doing another one in here. I enjoyed this book last month. Um, oh, I wish this was on better paper because this is crying out for a bit of watercolour, isn't it? Um, but this does appeal. Almost got like a it feels a bit labby to me where they're kind of testing out these individuals in here i don't know there's a lot going on around the edge like there's some kind of big experiment aren't there but i quite like the idea of the contrast of this kind of industrial looking thing around the edge and then making this really lush underneath you know quite rich vegetation and colors making that quite bright and then this very industrial i quite like the contrast idea of that page it does appeal this i thought was quite different as well and i thought if i'm struggling for time and i've like i say i've got some quite complicated pages over there so i thought you know even if i only get one of these done they're quite cute little things aren't they and i quite like the little costumes that are going on um yeah it does appeal and then obviously these could be very repeating but different color schemes i don't know quite i thought they were quite interesting and then i did pick this one last time i worked into this book as the teapot i do like a tea <laughs> cup of tea there's my nice cup i like a big cup teapot not sure what there's another looks like a coffee cup or something on the top but i quite like the idea of a little bit of a tea cup house 
I think that's quite cute. And that is finally the last of my picks for this month. There is a lot of books as per usual. I'm not going to get anywhere near all of these done. I don't really know how much time I'll have to do some colouring this month. Um, but I'm hoping I might get some of this done. I am also still working on my diamond art painting. I'll sh quickly show you which one, not the whole thing, just my sticker, just a sec. So I'm in the process of working on this one, Benedict Blue by Catalina Estrada. She is a wonderful fabric designer. I think she's from uh, South America somewhere. But yeah, I really love her fabrics. And this, I think it's the only Diamond Art she's done with Diamond Art Club so far. But as soon as I saw she'd done one of these, I couldn't not have it. And the colour scheme is just beautiful. Really love the colours in it. They're just, yeah, they're totally right up my street. And I'm up to here with it. You can just about see. So I've done, just take a little bit off. I've done a good chunk of that up to there. So all that bit is done i've still got this bit that i've started on. i've just started putting some of the fairy dust diamonds in down there and as you can see i've got a little um not started at all on that little bit under there so i've kind of nearly finished one of the bottom rows along the bottom i'm just absolutely loving the color palette on this though not i, I doubt very much that i'll get this finished i'm not even going to try and get this finished if i get this little bit done here i'll be fairly pleased this month because like i say i've got a lot on this month um and i do want to do a bit more of my coloring uh but i am finding doing this quite relaxing and i've needed the mental space just to relax a little bit and this is a lot more mindless than my coloring is sometimes um so it's a, it's finding that balance between um relaxing and a challenge that I you know I do enjoy the, the challenge of my coloring so that is always going to be number one to me but I'm enjoying this as well at the moment so it won't get finished this month <laughs> not at all but yeah hopefully you've enjoyed seeing a little bit of what I might color this month hopefully I'll get a few done hopefully to show you towards the end of the month though <laughs> it's going to be a bit of a month I think so we'll see how much I get done Thank you very much for watching. Hope something's interested you along the way. Bye-bye. Uh,